Hey, what's up guys? Real, real, real quick video. One of you guys asked for a service agreement and um, this is the one I use. It's the one I've been using for some time. It's nothing fancy at all whatsoever. And um, basically I just wanted to go over it real quick. There's really like nothing special about it at all whatsoever. I just wanted to give you guys something because one of you guys asked and I know I funneled around with this topic for some time and took me a while to um, you know, choose one and, and in the end I just chose something so simple. Um, sometimes we overcomplicate these things, you know, like, oh, should we have like all kinds of terms and make it very long like the big companies do? I would say no because then they would be afraid to sign off on it because they have to read it. Anytime you are giving them something a large commitment between them saying yes and making the payment there's a chance that 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 you know they will you know they will kind of like go away from that feeling you brought up on the closing time and they could not end up becoming clients so that's kind of just sales 101 in terms of having long contracts i don't know how the big companies do it maybe they just you know ask for the contract up front i don't know maybe it's it's not something i'd recommend so that's one thing um, why if you're wondering why it's so short, it, usually I like to make it like, you know, within one page actually. And let's see, any other things to say about this? Do I do, okay, common question. Do I do um, contracts? If you guys have been watching my video for a while, you know that I do not. I don't see any um, big benefit in doing contracts, honestly. Anybody who I come across they that 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 is surprised that they're like oh my god you don't do contracts like like you know that's not even like that's not even a real business then they are usually people who are running their agency without automatic payments right so if you're somebody who's collecting checks every month or you have to call up your clients and resell them every month for your service or whatever like they have to make a manual attempt to pay you every month it's not automatically taking out of their account which is, I can't imagine my business having to do that stuff every month. Like, honestly, I don't think I would be able to even put up with it. Like, it's so important for me to, like, so seamless for me to have PayPal that just automatically takes the money account. I would not have it any other way. Having that said, just to give you a point that I've seen, that few people I came across that, that was really surprised I don't do, you know, yearly contracts or six months contracts, they were every one of them there was like three people who are really surprised every three of them like all three of them did not do automatic payments so i concluded that the, you, if you're not doing automatic payments you must have more chance you know for people to fall off because they have to think before paying you every month and that's why you need to put them in a solid contract but if you're doing automatic payments like you should be i don't see a big reason especially when you're starting out to do um you know year contracts it'll, it'll it's just that added it's just an added amount of um, pressure on the client, which is really not needed because you can set the tone in of itself. You can let them know, hey, this will take six months to a year to get decent results. And if they cancel before that, they're already shooting themselves in the in the foot. And, um, you know, if you, if you, that, that's it. And most clients don't, you know, literally like over 80 percent of the clients will not cancel before that time frame. It's only when you're not able to bring results after that time is when they start to go so i think that's pretty much it i'm gonna uh, paste this in the description below so um you know if you've been thinking about a, a type of contract to use this is a very simple one that i do um, i don't know why this came out like this please just look over and and put some spaces properly i don't know why it's like that it's kind of really weird i hope i have not been sending this one <laughs> um and then uh, and obviously you know there's only a few places where you have to um, put your information, like client's business, client's address, your agency, your address, um, the amount of money they're paying per month, termination, client can cancel anytime. Just very simple and forward. Um, your name, date, client's name, date, I mean signature, and date. Done. All right, guys. Peace.